So I thought this week, let's stay away from productivity and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to go back in time and take a trip down memory lane to a few years ago when I was in high school. And while I've also just graduated from UC Berkeley, a video on that is also coming up soon, I first wanted to just do some reflection on high school and talk about the three life lessons from school that have still stuck with me. So a little bit of background on my school. I went to the Dune School, which is an all-boys boarding school in India. It was founded in 1935, back when India was still a colony and its model off of Eton in England. Dune was definitely one of the best experiences of my life. In fact, I was in Dune for both middle school and high school for about six years. And reflecting on all those years of some great friendships, memories, experiences, all I can say is that Dune, my family, my friends and my teachers have played a big role in shaping me into the kind of person that I am today. So in this video, I thought I'll reflect on that and share some stories that I'm sure anyone aspiring to get into Dune would love and the alumni would also love. The first thing that Dune really taught me was it taught me to have more by having less. I think one of the most fascinating things about Dune is that how rigid and tight its set of rules is. I remember that as students, we weren't allowed to have money at all in school, uh, no phones whatsoever, no light snacks or any of that kind of stuff, no Facebook. In fact, Facebook was only allowed on the weekends and really nothing you could have that could make you feel as if you have a bit more than the others. And while it's a separate debate about whether these rules are archaic or not, I think what Dune does a great job at is that it strips away everything to its bare minimum and teaches you how to live with scarcity. So you basically have an equal playing field where everything is uniform. And just by being in that sort of tight, constrained, rule-bound environment, you learn a lot about all the things that are important in life. You start to appreciate the little things that you do have in life. I remember that every other day in school, we would be served our nighttime snack because we would have exams and the school would want its kids to be nourished and all of that kind of stuff. And all I fondly remember is that my friends and I would literally look forward to just a packet of chips and some juice. And we would titrate our diet so that we could get that and we could just truly enjoy that experience of having that little snack. And going ahead, even in high school, just the prospect of having free food at some special event or the chance to score a free meal by some hook or crook or by sneaking some meals for your friends from outside or from some internal event was literally the best part of the day. And through these experiences and through the fact that Dune constrains you in an environment, you begin to appreciate the stuff that you otherwise would have taken for granted. At Dune, we also have this tradition of a mid-semester camping trip, which in the Dune language is called a midterm, where you basically just go on a week-long retreat with your friends and a couple of teachers. And that's honestly the best part of it all. But as I look back on all those memories, I think the amount of fun that I had enjoying the little things or the amount of fun that I had for even trying to get those little things is way more than the fun that I have today, even when I have all of those things. And that's why I feel that Dune does an awesome job at teaching you how to live with scarcity and how to make the most of what you have. The second thing that I really learned from Dune was that it teaches you to grow up early. Dune just makes you independent and aware of some changes and some fundamental things that you have to go through to figure life out. Because you see, when all the things are taken care of, which are quote unquote important, when life is uniform, when resources are scarce, what's really left is a bunch of boys all together in one place, all there to just fend for themselves. <laughs> it's more like a lighter version of the Lord of the Flies, except that the boys didn't turn out to be violent or brutal. And when you don't have anything to worry about, when you don't have these social games or status games that inevitably crop up in some environment or the other, what you really end up focusing on is your own personal growth and development. Because you know that both you and your friends have about 24 hours in the day, and that's all. That's like the uniform metric by which you will be measured, your progress will be measured, and how you will be evaluated. And at Dune, there are also these coveted positions or awards that are shown to you as the things that you should aspire for. 
And again, it's a different debate on whether these awards are actually meaningful or not. I think what Dune does an awesome job is that it pushes you to prioritize what's important by giving you something that's tangible and something that it shows that matters in life. And for me, it was a bunch of different activities from debate to public speaking, to dance, to writing, to even boxing. Dune is an absolutely amazing place because it makes you realize that you are there for yourself and that no one is going to fend for you. So in many ways, I think of Dune as a little contained model of the world with all the good parts of the world embedded in it and all the bad parts or I would say the mundane parts sort of taken care of. And that's why I feel that it teaches you to be self-reliant, self-dependent from a very early stage, even when you're in middle school, because even the prospect of staying away from parents is something that scares a lot of people. And I remember one of the quotes that a lot of my friends would quote at that time was that, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And at Dune, as you're growing up and trying to deal with a lot of the things that are going on in your life, you begin to realize that you're away from your parents. You only get to see your parents for a limited number of times during the semester. You're virtually away from them for eight months of the year, and you get to spend only four months with them in the entire year. And just by having to deal with this kind of pressure and this kind of constraint, Dune just pushes you to be an adult from an early stage. And that is immensely valuable. I think the final thing that really captures my experience at Dune was how it's so well designed to allow you to deal with both chaos and order at the same time. And that really teaches you a lot about change and how life progresses and a lot of different stuff. Because in a boarding school, there are only so many things that you can control and that can be controlled because you're only there with teachers for a limited amount of time. And there's only so much time that your teachers have to sort of take care of you or see that no indisciplinary stuff is happening or that someone is overstepping their bounds. And for the rest of the time, you're with a hundred other boys in your house and there will always be things that will come up. There will always be problems and issues that a bunch of guys living together in one house will naturally create. And that teaches you how to deal with change how to deal with a lot of stuff that often comes up in life when you're naturally with a lot of people around you. And one of the things that brought this chaos for everyone is this notion of collective responsibility. What this notion really does is that it forces you to stand up for the other and to accept what the other has done. And that really builds a solid connection with your friends. I remember that at Dune we have this tradition of a punishment, which is change and break which is really that you have 20 minutes and in 20 minutes, you basically have to run from one end of the campus to the other to get a piece of paper signed from a prefect who is an authority in the school. And you could be punished, your entire batch could be punished, even if one person does something wrong. And while again, it's a different debate about whether this is right or wrong, what I think it really does a great job at is teaching you how to be able to stand up for the other and how not to basically rat out your friends. And that is something that just forges such a deep connection with everyone that you go to Dune with that it's just invaluable five years, 10 years, even 50 years down the line. And that's why Dune has such a strong alumni connection because it's these set of experiences and unique traditions that Dune has that it forces you to build a rapport and a solid connection with your friends, which actually end up becoming a family. And so that's, that's really what I feel Dune has taught me. It's taught me how to have more by having less because it creates the scarcity. It taught me to grow up early because from an early on, you're just left with a bunch of guys with limited interaction with your parents and with a tight set of constraints and rules enforced on you. And it finally just teaches you how to deal with change. And having these three lessons ingrained in you from a very early age, you begin to just appreciate in retrospect what all it is that you truly learned from doing. So I'm grateful for that experience and I'm glad that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.